Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll tell you everything you need to know about loop and fluid file types. First, we'll talk about what the file types are. Then we'll show you where the loop files are stored. And finally, we'll show you how to rename and restore them. Microsoft uses the .loop and .fluid file types to save loop components. In OneDrive, components you build are saved as .loop files, whereas loop components shared by other people are saved as .fluid. Loop files are essentially just like any other Microsoft document, which means you can share and rename them, or even restore old versions. Your loop files can be found in OneDrive. There, head to My Files on the left. Then open the Attachments folder. To find fluid files that were shared with you, head over to the left menu and click Shared. Loop components are also saved as fluid files in a SharePoint folder called Loop App Data, which admins can search in the Compliance Center. To do that, open your Admin Center and click Show All in the left menu. Then select Compliance from the list of admins. In the Compliance Center, select Content Search in the left menu. and then click New Search. Add a name for your search. We called ours Loop Search. Then click Next. Now toggle on SharePoint Sites. Then click Next. Time to add some filters. Start by clicking Add Condition. Then select File Type from the pop-up list. Next. Type Fluid into the text box, and hit the Next button. Now hit Submit. Then Done, to complete the content search. To view the search results, head up and click the search you just made. Wait a moment for the search to complete, then hit the Actions button, and select Export Results. Leave the default settings and click the Export button. When the job has been created, hit OK. Then go up and click the Export tab. There, click on your export. Now head over to the navigation pane on the right, and hit the Refresh button until you see the search results. When ready, scroll down and copy the export key. Then head back up and click Download results at the top. You'll need to use Edge or Internet Explorer to download the results. And the first time you download, you'll be asked to install the eDiscovery export tool. Once you've done that, you can click open and the tool should be ready for use. Now paste the export key into the top input box. Select a save location by clicking the browse button. And finally, hit start. Fluid files can't be opened from your local device. So you'll need to upload the results in OneDrive. There, click upload, and select folder from the dropdown. Then select your results folder and click Upload. To view the loop components, head back to My Files. Then open your search results and click through to the dated folder. Then go to SharePoint. CPS. Document Library. And Loop App Data. You can now open the fluid files and view the loop components. If you want to rename or restore old versions of a loop component, open OneDrive and go to My Files. Then open the Attachments folder. There, right-click the component you want to rename. Or hover over it and click the three dots. Then select Rename from the pop-up list. Enter a new name, then hit the Rename button. To restore an older version, click the three dots again. Then select version history from the pop-up list. Click the three vertical dots next to any of the older versions, and select restore. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.